All right, so I'm super excited to be doing a new video for my no sewers. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. So we know that the coquette girly pop aesthetic is very much so in right now. And so I'm glad, like, you know, I love when things go out and things come in. It makes everything fresh and exciting, right? So we know that bows, rosettes, a little bit of bling, pearls are really in right now. So we are gonna take these concepts and integrate it into some easy, super easy no-sew t-shirt techniques. And if you're wondering about my t-shirt that I have on right now, do not worry, at the end I have some super, super, super exciting news that you don't wanna miss. But for now, let's talk about these t-shirts. The first one we're gonna do, uh, absolutely super excited for this one. I'm gonna take this plain blue t-shirt and we are going to add some bows, but absolutely no sewing. Okay, so first up, we're going to take this plain t-shirt and this is actually great for like, if you have a t-shirt that has spots on it and you're trying to cover them and you still wanna wear the t-shirt or whatever, you could do it to a graphic t-shirt as well. And what you're gonna need for this is some ribbon, some scissors and safety pins, some fray check or a lighter, also, a ruler. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the shirt out of the way. We actually don't even need the shirt yet. So I'm going to cut 12 inch lengths of this ribbon. You can actually cut them 10. You can cut them more depending on how long you want your bows to come down. So 12 inch lengths. I don't know how many bows this is going to make, but however many bows this makes, that's how many will go on the shirt. And this ribbon is a narrow satin ribbon. If you wanted to get this exact type of ribbon and it is one quarter inch wide and you can do yours with varying lengths um, so that the bows are bigger or smaller or have longer tails for this purpose I'm just gonna make them all the same length. now I'm gonna show you how to make the bows so you're gonna take your ribbon pull your pointer fingers apart and pinch the ribbon until it kind of looks like a bow and you want to make sure that like you you're even so we're gonna even it out so that's our middle, that's our middle point. And then we're gonna pull apart evenly. Try to keep it even. Keeping it completely even might be almost impossible, but we're gonna pull it apart. Then we pinch it like a bow, cross it over until there's a little hole in the middle. And we take one of the bunny ears <laughs> and take it through the hole. It's like the old school way of tying your shoes. Like when you first, first learn. And then you just pull, your bunny ears. Don't worry if they're not even, it doesn't even matter. You're gonna take a piece and pull it until it is even. And then you can arrange the ties how you want them. And you can make these little, the top of the bow as long or as short as you want them to be. So now we have a bow. We're gonna put that to the side and do it, I'll do it again for you. Once you get some bows to finish the ends because you do want to finish the ends because they will fray. There are several ways you can cut them. You can cut them like this at an angle. You can cut them straight across or you can fold them in half and cut them up the middle like that. I think I'm just going to do the angle cut like that, like that. So then once you cut them, you can use a lighter to burn the ends, or you can take the fray check and just gently apply a little bit just to the very end, and it'll keep it from fraying. This method, you have to wait for it to dry, so that's the drawback of it. Um, but the lighter, it doesn't, I mean, both of them make it kind of hard on the ends, but the lighter, I think, makes it harder, but you know, either way. All right, so after your ribbons dry, you're just going to arrange them on the t-shirt or shirt, however you like. For this one, I am only going to do it on the front. I'm not going to do it on the back. Then you're going to take your safety pins and you're going to pin them from the inside. All safety pins are not created equal. These are the Dritz brand safety pins and these little 
uh, prongs are strong enough to go through, I hold it in place, lift the fabric up and fold it over and then just stick it through. Now you wanna stick it through the t-shirt and the knot so that it won't come untied. And there it is. All right, then we're just gonna keep working our way up until we have them all pinned down. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Like I said, here we do upcycles of all different kinds at all different levels, so you don't wanna miss a thing. I do have an online upcycle group that meets once a month, and I do live videos once a month for my members. So definitely become a member if you are interested. Otherwise, definitely subscribe so you don't miss what we do next. So next up, we're gonna take my Swap It Like It's Hot shirt and we are going to add a little something something to it. All right, for this second one, we're actually going to do a little bling. Um, I bought one of those kits. I'll put the link in the description box below or actually several of them. This is like a vintage feeling tee and so I wanted to go ahead and do pearls. And so the kit did come with glue, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue that it came with. If not, you can definitely use fabric glue. Instead of just doing all over, I'm gonna focus on just kind of doing the shoulders like down. It's gonna kind of get sparse. So it's gonna be a little bit more clustered up here and get a little bit sparser down towards the sleeve. I'm not sure if I need something underneath. So, okay, I think I'm just gonna use, this is just the top to a container that we have at the office. All right, so we have our glue, we have our rhinestones, and we're also going to need tweezers. It just makes the job a little bit easier. So we're gonna pick our sizes. And this glue has a little like needle thing in it, which I really like because it helps the glue to stay like so that you could use it another time. I'm just gonna put small dots of glue. All right, and then I'm just gonna use the tweezers. I like to lay the big ones down first and then fill it in with smaller ones. Okay, so I'm gonna keep placing glue until we just kind of get it, you know, like along the shoulder. Now you can see over here where I use more glue, it's starting to squeeze underneath and that's what you don't want. So now I know that the little dots of glue that I was doing over there, it was enough. So now we'll switch over to the other sleeve and we'll do the other sleeve and then we'll let that dry for a little bit. And then we will go to the back and also do the back. So there we go, just a simple little addition. Give it a little bit of interest. And lastly, we're gonna take this t-shirt. It has some stains on it. It has some, you know, issues with it, but we're gonna take it and change it to make it super cute and perfect for when it really starts to heat up. Instead of just simply turning, you know, adding something to the t-shirt, we're going to, you know, change the t-shirt up a little bit. Just an easy little tank top. You can see this has some spots on it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it across like right there. And I do have a, a tutorial on how to crop a t-shirt, what scissors you need, stuff like that. But for this, I am going to simply cut a V right around the collar and then cut a V down to the sides. So now all I wanna do is add some ribbon as straps. We're going to use the concept from our first one and we're gonna make a bow. Actually, we need four bows. And this is gross grain ribbon. This one is 3 8 inch and the other one is 5 8 inch. And we're gonna use this on the front. So this is just the front piece. I'm gonna just fold it lightly, just a little bit. Add this in the front. And then the long ribbon, two foot piece, add this on the back. You're gonna need to finish the edges of these ribbons just the same as the other ribbons that we finish. And then I'm gonna add this safety pin all the way through the ribbon, through the shirt, and through the bow in the front. And then when you tie it, these are gonna hang down a lot more. So I'm also going to finish this edge as well. And so you're gonna do that same thing on all of the edges and then you have a cute little tank top. All right, so we are done and we are about to style these. I cannot wait for you guys to see them because they were super easy, but that does not mean they don't have a big effect. So let's see.
climbing a tree Twisted like a snake and busy like bees Don't know what the is wrong with me Don't know what the is wrong with me Pumping up the volume to 90 degrees Dancing to a song till I drop to my knees Don't know what the is wrong with me Don't know what the is wrong with me because they were all so, so good. Now, I would say the one I would probably wear the least is the one with the pearls on the shoulders. I'm not a big bling person, but I look forward to seeing you guys because I know that there's somebody that's gonna have the patience to do those all over. Cannot wait to see. My absolute favorite though is the blue with the bows because you guys know I love juxtaposition. And so it's a very boxy like guys fit shirt, but then it has the bows on the front and then with the curls and everything, it it marries well together. I really, 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 really like it. Let me know which one is your favorite, which one you're gonna try for yourself. And now for our big announcement, these shirts are for the grand opening of Blueprint Studio. So if you are in Houston or in the area, if you're not, I have some other things to tell you, but if you are in the Houston area, I am inviting you to our grand opening, to our quote unquote housewarming party. It is a vintage thrift swap and I'm I, when I say I am excited, I am so excited. I love vintage clothing. I love thrift clothing, but when you talk about vintage clothing, because like, um, like is nineties is vintage now. Um, and then on back from there, it just, it's just a world of things that are just exciting. So we are having a thrift swap. Look in the description box to get tickets to come. Act fast if you want to come. It's April 6th at 2 p.m. That's a Saturday at 2 p.m. Um, I will be recording and so you'll see how it went, but I'm super excited. We're gonna have food, we're gonna have drinks, we're gonna have the thrift swap, we're gonna have some prizes, we're doing some giveaways, um, so you don't wanna miss that. And then we, are, we will be selling these shirts at the thrift swap. Is hashtag swipe it like it's hot. So <laughs> definitely check out that hashtag to see everybody who would, was able to come. Uh, I will, I'm so excited that I'll be able to meet some of you guys. And then on top of that, because this is our housewarming, if you desire to donate towards our housewarming, our grand opening, um, I do have a link in the description box where you can donate. You can donate um, cash if you want to. But the thing that I'm super excited about is that you actually can donate vintage chairs and lamps as well as jeans. Own, except for skinny jeans, no skin. We don't use skinny jeans, so I just would rather not take them. But donate jeans. <laughs> I put that in the video. She does how she sets us up. <laughs> Did y'all see her sneaking in? She was she was nicely trying to sneak in and just say goodbye. <laughs> Have a good weekend. But you can donate uh, jeans that are not skinny jeans uh, of any color, as well as vintage chairs and vintage lamps. And so um, look in the description box to see how to donate those if you're in the general area, or if you wanna mail us some, there is a mailing address that you can mail them to. But we have a vision and vintage chairs is part of the big vision. And that would just really, really help us out. So um, like I said, a lot of times I don't do things because of my pride, but I thought I would put that out there because you guys do actually offer to send me things from time to time. So um, for this event, I am super excited. Oh, I'm super excited. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be amazing. I am excited and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.